I haven't watched the show yet. I'm just wondering if you could take us into the world of Defiance and tell us more about it. Sure. Well, Defiance takes place uh, seven years after a massive war between humans and aliens happened. Defiance sits as an independent city in former St. Louis, and it's really about can humans and aliens live peacefully on Earth together. Everybody has a different cultural identity, everybody has different traditions, everybody has different desires and wants and needs. And they're in the same lifeboat in a world that's been irrevocably transformed. This place is a little island in the middle of chaos and a lot of big powers that all want it. That's trying to figure out its own identity and trying to figure out what it wants to be. Those soldiers, those defiant few, refuse. You play such a strong, beautiful, but sweet character. I'm just wondering if you could tell me more about Amanda. Amanda Rosewater, in season one, she was the mayor of Defiance. By the end of season one, she was no longer the mayor. She was an idealist who really believes in what Defiance stands for. Who wants to be mayor anyway? What is it like for you to play such a strong female character in a cast of strong female characters? Mm -hmm. Well, that's what appealed to me about the script in the first place was that every female character on the show was extremely complex. Every woman was very well conceived. You don't see that very often in a script and especially the older I get as an actress, I don't see that very much in a character. So to be able to play a woman who's extremely powerful and strong but still a woman was a big deal to me. As long as I am mayor, I stand by lawkeeper Nolan 100%. Grant, you play the lawmaker, chief lawmaker, Nolan. So what kind of trouble do you get yourself into and who is he? As much trouble as humanly possible and he is a troublemaker. He's a disenfranchised guy who's lost all faith in the world, or at least in organized government and systems of humanity. And he's picked up and adopted this strange little red-headed alien on the way around in his uh, travels through the Badlands. And the two of them come stumbling into defiance together. So he's a man, I guess, escaping from his past and looking for redemption. This was the second highest rated show on Sci-Fi for the premiere, four million people. That's kind of a big deal. How does it feel to be part of this? Oh, it's exciting. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely exciting. That's what we want <laughs> when we're creating a show. We want people to watch it. We have fans and then we get a season two. Mm -hmm. It makes it that much more exciting for us. And I think our fans, they're so passionate about the show, just as much as we are making it, that it really creates a very interesting synergy. It's not just a show though, it's also a video game and we need to mention that. So have you played it? Do you know anything about it? Do you have your own character in this MMO world? I uh, have three different characters on all three platforms. I'm a bit of a game junkie, so I've been playing the game since the alpha, then the beta, and then the online beta, and then in, into Ooh, launch. Play with you play yourself? I've played myself, yeah. <laughs> actually, the guys at Tryon actually created a me skin that I could play in, which was pretty cool. I actually, at one point, met me in the game. Like, me playing me met me in the game. Whoa. Surviving an arc fall is easy if you have friends.